Napa know-how. A Napa guy knows more isn't always better, unless we're talking about full-size vans. These beasts do more than get you from A to B. They have so much space, a man can live in it. With shag carpeting, waterbed, and a sweet lava lamp, these mobile abodes have all the comforts of home. With quality parts and plenty of Napa know-how, you can keep the original tiny house running longer, stronger. That's Napa know-how. Napa know-how. Welcome to Blog Talk Radio in high fidelity. Fox Productions presents The Butterfly Medium Show with Ivana. Ivana, the butterfly medium, is a world-renowned psychic medium. She is a third or fourth generation psychic medium since her family immigrated from Italy. Ivana has a magical gift that will turn a skeptic into a believer. The Butterfly Medium has been giving healing messages from loved ones on the other side for over two decades. Ivana started feeling ghosts and spirit around her since her mom's passing, only three days after Ivana's fifth birthday. Her mom has communicated with her through the monarch butterflies since the young age of seven years. Call in now to reserve your spot on the switchboard if you would like to speak with Ivana. The call-in number is 713-955-0594. Again, that's 713-955-0594. Press 1 if you would like to get on air with Ivana to ask her or her special guest a question. Enjoy this magical and healing show. Oh, hello everybody and welcome to my show. This is Ivana Figueredo, the Butterfly Medium world-renowned psychic medium, and I'm here to give you messages from the other side. Thank you so much to all the listeners that listen each week and the callers that call in each week. We've had some fabulous shows that happen each Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. And for those of you that are listening and need to write down the phone number once again, please don't forget it's 713-955-0594. It is a U.S. call-in number, so please be careful if you are calling in from Canada and do not have a long-distance plan. Of course, long-distance charges will apply, so please be careful. Also, I would like to uh, make some announcements for all the listeners that are listening right now. We have three amazing shows that are coming up. And actually, before we go go into announcements, One very important thing, a very important person that I would like to thank each and every week is our producer from the Goldilocks production, Tiffany Whitesage, an amazing woman, an amazing person, a healer herself, and thank you so very much, Tiffany, for always putting on such a great show for each and every one of us on your team each and every week and for all that you do for us. I'm so grateful, and I'm so blessed to have you in my life. And I'm sure everyone else is also blessed and grateful to have you in their lives as well. So thank you, Tiffany. Um, This show each week is all about healing. Let's heal together. This is what we talk about each and every week. And healing is so important, especially after you lose a loved one. The healing that is so important is for what reason? The reason is because if we do not heal from what we are feeling inside, those, um, that can make us ill. That could make us very, very ill internally as well. So what we need to do is we need to let go. We need to forgive. If someone's ever done anything to us in the past, we need to forgive and let it go. It doesn't mean, if, if you're forgiving a person, it doesn't mean you need to allow them into your life. But you need to forgive them for yourself so you can heal 
from whatever it is that you need healing from. So if someone did something to you, you know, there's, I come from a, um, a background of domestic abuse where uh, may, many of you may or may not know this, but my father um, killed my mom three days after my fifth birthday. And for many, many years, I needed my own healing. I felt like I was walking with a butcher knife stuck in my heart. I really did. It was so painful for me growing up without a mother, starting at the age of five. I was very uh, fortunate and very lucky to have my maternal grandparents take me in and raise me from the time that I was five years old. The tragedy that we suffered for many, many years has brought me to where I am today. And then when I was 25 years old, actually I had just turned 26, three months after my 26th birthday, my grandfather took his own life, my mom's father. And so did I need healing? Yes, I did. For many, many years I fought and I fought and I fought with depression. And it was the worst thing that I could have ever, ever gone through in my life. And of course, I needed healing so I could be healed myself and so I can bring healing to each and every one of you. Do we have stressful days? Yes. Do I have anxiety? Yes, I do. I have anxiety. I have so much anxiety, in fact, because I'm always connected to the other realm. When I was younger, um, I felt a sense of uh, ghosts in, in my head. They were, they were ghosts, and they were bad ghosts that I always felt around me, only to find out later on in, in my life is that those ghosts that I felt, that energy, that vibration that I felt was actually the energy and the vibration of my mom. And she always came to me through the signs of a monarch butterfly, the beautiful monarch butterfly. And today she's with me each and every day. And she has brought me to where I am today because I need to heal each and every one of you with healing that you might need from, again, something that's happened in your life, someone that passed, a sibling, a parent, a best friend, a husband, a wife, a grandparent. We have so many people that we lose in our lives and that is so tragic sometimes, and we just can't seem to find any healing from it. But I know that when you talk to me and when you get a reading from me, you will have the healing that you need because when I'm connecting to your loved ones, they will give you messages that I have absolutely no way of knowing these messages from your loved ones. And what they're doing is they're picking messages out of your head and they're transferring them to me. I'm the middleman. I am the messenger. I am the medium. And this is how I connect to your loved ones. It's through the vibration that you have and, and through my vibration and through their, their vibration, we all come together and we make this happen. So for those of you that have never actually received a reading from me, I encourage you, please, please get yourself a reading at least once in your lifetime because it is absolutely phenomenal. It is absolutely amazing. What an experience. What a healing process. And it's just um, the words can even describe how I feel when I'm giving a reading. It is just very powerful. And all I can say is it is absolutely beautiful. So if you have a loved one that you want to connect with, please, I encourage you, look me up on Facebook at Ivana Figueredo or the Butterfly Medium, and then you'll be able to get to my name, Ivana Figueredo, and add me as a friend. You'll be notified every Monday nights when I do my shows, um, my Facebook live shows that I do. It's all about healing again, and I offer that from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is a free show. You're welcome to join, and I intuitively choose people that are sending messages, people that are watching, and I uh, will choose them and then call them and give them a free live reading on Facebook Live. It is absolutely amazing. So once again, thanks to all the listeners. As you all know, we have some shows coming up. I have a show coming up on September the 9th at the Registry Theater in Kitchener, Ontario. That is in Canada. And please, anyone who's listening in southwestern Ontario, I encourage you, please come to my show. It is absolutely phenomenal. You can go onto my website, thebutterflymedium.com. All the information is there for booking a reading, booking a private party, or also for coming to any of my events. Um, you can go to the services for booking an appointment, and you can go to events for any of my events. But there's uh, another show coming up in October, and that is going to be in Stratford, Ontario, and also in November, we're going to be back in London, Ontario. So again, anybody who is in southwestern Ontario and you are listening, 
You can always buy this as a birthday gift for someone, maybe your mom, your sister, for yourself, your husband, your your uncle. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. A lot of people say you must have a lot of women come to your show. Yes, I do, but I also have a lot of men as well because men need healing as well. So I encourage all the men, bring your wife out, bring your, your, your daughter out. Maybe it's her birthday. Maybe she lost a friend and you would like for her to possibly have a message at one of my shows. So I encourage you all to please attend one of my shows. It is absolutely amazing, joyful, incredible, and very healing. So if you are interested, visit us on my website, butterflymedium.com, where you can get all the information that you wish. Thank you, everybody, for allowing me to make my announcements. Um, why don't we get started with the show? Because I know everybody is so anxious, and we do have callers, and of course, Everybody would like a reading. So why don't we start with our very first caller. Caller is 480. Good morning. Hello, caller 480. What is your name and where are you calling from, please? Hi, this is Mike. I'm from California. Hi, Mike. How are you? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, Good. Quick I, question. I feel, I feel like... I feel like we've spoken before. Yeah, uh, probably the last month or so. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. You know what? Everybody who calls in more than once, more than twice, I absolutely appreciate you guys calling in as often as you do because you know what? You never know what the next message is going to be. And I don't mind you guys calling in each and every week if you want to. If the lines are open, so be it, then come, you know, call in and I'd be more than happy to give you a reading or a message um, as best as I can. So what may I help you with today, Michael? And thank you once again for calling from California. One of my favorite places that I still have to visit. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to receive an offer today for a job, and Yay. it was it was, but it's interesting because it was through a, a a restaurant job that I didn't get, but it, this is going to be a sales job for their catering aspect, and I was curious. Um, it, I don't know. I don't even know if it's going to be full time or if it's just part time. Um, but I am working at a restaurant right now that I don't really enjoy, um, and okay. I just kind of want to. I just kind of want to get your idea of, or, or kind of your sense in and around that area of whether I'm going to. You know, this offer is going to be great, and is it full time, part time? Just kind of what you feel. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't know why this is going to sound really strange, but I have to say this. Um, is there some, I don't know why, but they're showing me bread, like bread that we eat. Do, is this, um, is this a place where they sell bread or is it a bakery? Is it, there's a lot of cards at this place. I know you said that you work for a restaurant and for some reason, every time you call in, I see a waiter, I see a waiter. I see that you wait on people and, and you work in a restaurant and this is the sort of thing that I see. But right now, for some reason, I don't know why, but they're showing me bread. Does that make any weird kind of sense to you at all? No, no. Actually, it's a uh, it's a uh, a meat company that ha- is in a really hip area in California, and they're opening their first restaurant attached to the the, the meat company, and it's an outdoor space. And so, but they've also wanted. They've been you know three four generations. And they're bringing me on to do uh, sales, so I don't know where the the oh, meat wow. or the uh, the carbs type of thing um, right, right. come come into so play. It's almost like, right, right. So you know how um, I always say this each and every week when I'm connecting to spirit, they play like a game of charades with me. So a lot of family businesses are a a lot of uh, bakeries or family-run businesses or um you know uh the butchers are usually family-run this sort of thing so i'm wondering it's so funny because i'm wondering if spirit is showing me in this way playing the game with me that it's like a family-run business where it's a a meat shop or a meat do you know what i mean um yep but i'm seeing but i'm seeing like a bakery or bread or something like that so i'm i'm fairly clear and i'm pretty sure that this is what um, this is what spirit is trying to show me so this meat place that you're working at whether it's a family-run business 
but they show it to me in a very, in a, in a different way, a way that I can try and figure out. Do you know what I mean? Talking about yep. like a bakery or, or this butcher place that they own. One of the things that I do see is at first I was kind of feeling uh, a no, like um, a not so favorable kind of a move for you, Michael, in the, I think it was in the sales um, right. uh, part of the job, but, but there's, I feel really weird about this. Like I feel different. I feel that there's an opportunity, but it's not the one that's being offered to you right now. I don't feel is the right one for you, but I feel that there's going to be something else in a sense that's offered to you within the same company. You might start in sales and they might say, well, you know what? I think he belongs rather in this department rather than the sales department. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. there, there's going to, something is going to happen where, yes, you will most likely be working there, but I feel you're going to be shifted around. And I feel that it, I, I feel that eventually it will be something more permanent for you. But unfortunately, I don't feel or think that it's going to be permanent right off, offhand. It might be. But you might think um, you might think negative about it. You might think, no, maybe this is not it. But that is actually going to lead or turn into something different for you, which is going to be more permanent. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, because I, I kind of have the feeling that it might be something like twenty hours a week, you know, type of right. thing. And and then I would still have to hold on to my other job that I have, but. I'll uh, I'll be doing stuff at a, a wellness center, which is in the same neighborhood as where the meat company is. So it's just you know it might give me some opportunity just to be in Santa Barbara more consistently. So I, I mean I don't know. And and who knows? You know the universe has an amazing way of showing where they want you to be or where they need you to be. So what it sounds like to me right now is that. What they're doing is they're kind of opening up some airways for you where um, this will lead into something else. Or maybe right now you you can only work 20 hours a week because you might still enjoy working um, at the restaurant that you are now. Or where – did you say you're at a restaurant right now as a waiter? Yeah, and, and I, and I, and I kind of don't like it. <laughs> I know, I know. And you may not want to be there, but – Maybe it's the tips that, you know, the universe is holding you back for. I don't know. But I do yeah. feel that the one that you're going into right now may not necessarily be so permanent as it will right. be later on down the road. But I def I see a lot of, like, very, very heavy, heavy weight books, almost like black leather cover. Like, the, the cover of the book is like a black leather or a dark, dark leather kind of a color. I don't know what this means. I, I don't know if it's they're showing me. If they're showing me their, you know, their inc uh, not income statements, but their, I don't know, maybe their legal stuff. I really don't know. But they're showing me almost like a legal kind of a book, and it's very, it's a very heavy book. I feel it's black. I feel it's leather. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this means. I don't know if there's lawyers that work there, or they have lawyers, or I don't know. I don't know. Does that make hmm. any sense to you? Oh, have they asked you to start signing papers that are legal documents? Maybe they're asking you, maybe they're saying to you, make sure you have um, a lawyer review your contract before you sign anything. This could be a sign from them. Right. Um, are, yeah, know, I really, I really don't. Yeah, I really don't think that uh, this level of, of of sales position would uh, would require uh, you know like yeah. confidentiality that type of stuff because it's I mean it's pretty basic. Right, and and and, know, and I'm I, and I'm 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 actually overqualified for this position. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't feel that it was a position either that you needed a lawyer, but for some reason. They're showing me something to do with legal. So I, this is just something that I was putting out there. Maybe that's what it is, or maybe maybe it's going to end bad. I don't want to say that. I don't want to put that out to the right. universe. I don't know, but I just – you'll have to just kind of feel it out and see what happens in the first couple months, two to three months. See, um, see if it's a place where there is a lot of room for improvement or right. growth, I 
say rather. Um, you don't have any, you're not in any legal kind of stuff right now. Are you having, is there any legal action against you right now or anything like that? No, no. 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 Yeah, this is really weird. I don't know why they're showing this, but just make note of it and just be cautious, I guess. Maybe the, maybe they're just asking you to be cautious for whatever reason. I only give the messages that I receive and I don't want to hold them right. back because you just never know. But once again, um, let it be, let it happen, see what happens. And I do feel that later on it will become more permanent for you, but not necessarily right away. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Michael. Good luck with everything, and uh, thanks again for calling in. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so very much. Um, sometimes it, it, it's funny because sometimes it's hard to understand what spirit is trying to convey to me because, of course, they come up with their own signs and symbols, and, and sometimes they're really funny. So thank you so much uh, again to Michael for, for that call. Uh, our next caller is caller 352. Hello, caller 352. Are you there? What is your name and where are you calling from? I am. Thank you very much. My name is Cindy, and I'm calling from North Florida. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Is it raining in Florida right now? I think I hear rain. No. Um, it's uh, actually pretty hot right now, but we've been getting some pretty nasty afternoon showers with a lot of lightning, but maybe later oh, today. Okay. <laughs> well, the, weird, the, the strange thing is it almost sounds like you're standing or you're sitting in a car and it's raining really, really hard where you are. Maybe spirit, because I hear static or something on the phone. Maybe spirit is just showing me the weather for you later. So, so be aware of all that water later. <laughs> yeah, I, actually, I'm driving. I'm gonna pull over and stop so you can hear me better. Pull over now. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure, okay. As as yep, I am. Oh, perfect. Wonderful. Well, thank you. So oh, I'm sorry. Did you say your name is Cindy? Cindy, yes. Cindy, wonderful. Thank you very much for calling in, Cindy. What may I help you with today? Do you have a question? I do. Can you give me any insight um, regarding uh, me m making a residential move, whether I should move um, to Indiana or, you know, whether I should stay closer to Florida? Um, there's, a, there's a door okay. open in the direction of Indiana. Um, and I'm trying to make decisions yeah. and choices. Okay, sure. So right now it's a tough decision for you to make. Um, is How far is Indiana from Florida? Uh, 12 hours from where I am. Okay, so by, by vehicle, correct, of course. Um, yes. So 12 hours. I don't know why, but they show me that the number five is associated with this move. So the month of May or five weeks or five months. I don't know if you if you're planning to move within the next five weeks to five months, but this is what they show. Um, at first, I was feeling that the move may not happen, but now they're starting to show me that the move is going to happen. Um, when you make this move, I think in the beginning it's going to be a little overwhelming. You're not because you're not going to be certain as to oh my goodness, what should I do? How do I go there? And, you know, just different things, maybe different surroundings, or maybe you've already lived there before, but they're just showing me that you might feel a little bit overwhelmed, but at the same time, you're going to feel relieved. So whatever that relief is from, maybe you're running away from something. Maybe you're, you know, maybe you're running away from a, a relationship that just ended. I don't know. I'm not saying that. But they're making me feel that you're going to have a sense of relief when you do move out towards Indiana. Okay. And do you see that being a good location for me in that situation being where I'll, I'll be staying for a while and it working out well? Uh, let's just have a look one moment. Moving. I do see moving. I do see happy and loving thoughts. Are you traveling alone to this to, uh, to this place? Am I traveling alone? Yes. Will you be traveling alone to Indiana? Oh no! When I move, um, my son will be going with me, probably at least, you know, and then get his own place, probably. But 
it will actually be um, involving a relationship as well when I do go up there. Right, and that's I, that's what I was feeling because I, I was starting to feel that single was not in a relationship. Um, I wasn't mm-hmm. sure about the children part. I, I was sort of iffy about that, mm-hmm. but thank you for validating that you do have a son. And then I started to feel, mm, is this like an online kind of a relation, or not online, but a long distance relationship that's happening right now? And that's why I had asked you, will you be will you be doing this travel alone? Because I felt you were single, so going going alone. Um, so one of the things that they are showing me is that it is favorable, and yes, there is going. They showed me joyful, so they showed me happy faces. Um, they also showed me a heart, so things are going to go well. I do believe that there's going to be a lot of love and a lot of trust in this new relationship, and I do believe. I don't know if the if your partners or the partner that you might be with, um, his or her name starts with the letter T or sounds like the letter T, like T is in Thomas, um, or or they have the letter T in a middle name or last name, or just the letter T is very strong in their name. Does that make sense? Um, well, that's not the first or last initial. Um, at, okay. It might be the middle initial. I'm trying to think. Mm-hmm. But that's okay. It, it's okay. Regardless, they just show me the letter T that's around this this whole move or the person that you're going to be meeting. Uh, maybe it's your son's name. Maybe they have a child and it's their child's name. I don't know. But I'm just letting you know the letters that they are associating with this move or possibly this person. Maybe it's a family member um, uh, of, of this person. Maybe it's a family member of yours. Maybe it's a family member of yours that's trying to connect with me. But I'm seeing the letter T. So T is in like Thomas. This is the initial that I'm seeing. So just keep that. And, you okay. know, I always say to people, if something doesn't make sense to you right now, don't worry about it. Don't fixate yourself too much on it because it will make sense. The spirit will eventually show you, oh, and you'll have that epiphany like, oh, my goodness, I know exactly what you meant by that letter T. Are you also taking a dog with you or is there a dog where you're moving to, like a larger, medium size to larger dog? Yes, I do have dogs. Okay. So they spirit does show that you're taking your dog or dogs with you. Are you taking they do show me that you're taking them with you. Yes. Okay, wonderful. And um, they're saying positive outlook, positive outlook. So what's happening is the purpose that you are leaving, the reason that you are leaving is going to have a positive outlook on your life. This is this is what Spirit is showing me for you right now. So to answer okay. your question, it, it is a good move for you, and I do believe that you will be happy. And don't forget, not all relationships, well, you know, in every relationship, my grandmother always used to say, in every relationship, every relationship is like a rose. They all have their thorns, right? So don't forget, people argue, people, but don't be afraid of an argument and don't try and turn around and go back home because you got into a big argument. Do you know what I mean? If that if that ever happens, stay and give okay. it time. Love each, other, love each other and respect one another and you will see where your relationship will go. But I wish you all the best of luck. I do, and I am very hopeful for you. I do believe that things are going to go fabulous for you, and Spirit is definitely showing that for you. Uh, And by the way, at the very beginning of the reading, I wanted to ask you if your father is in spirit, or is it your father's father that's in spirit? Because when I was connected to you, I was feeling a male spirit like a father figure. Yes, my father is in spirit. Okay, so wonderful. So thank you for validating, and thank you to your dad for validating. Just out of curiosity, what is your father's first name, or does the letter T stand anything for him? Uh, No, the T doesn't apply, but it's Edwin David, and he went by David or Dave for a while, and his life he went by Bill or Billy. No problem. But the only reason why I ask is just to see if if we could still figure out that cheat. But again, don't worry about it. You will figure that out. Once again, thank you very much for calling in. I hope that you enjoyed that. And um, please listen to the messages that your dad has given you. He is very happy and he is very proud of you of what you will be doing. And he says there's going to be a lot of accomplishments 
for you. So no need okay, to worry. You. you have some you have some good stuff up ahead. Yeah. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. very much. I hope they enjoyed that. You're welcome. Good luck with everything. Okay, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Right. Thank you as well. Bye bye. Thank you so much for that call. All right, so let's see if we have time. What time is it? What time is it? Of course, we should have more time. We have our next caller. I believe our next caller is, um, is it uh, 773? Hello, caller 773. What is your name? Where are you calling from, please? And do you have a question or would you like a message? Well, hi. Um, my name's uh, Joellen, and ironically, I am from Indiana. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I have to tell you, I have to tell you this. That is definitely a sign from it, from her dad. That is a sign from her dad saying, yay, she's going to Indiana. So I hope you're still listening. Um, I've forgotten already her name. I believe it was Cindy. I believe it was Cindy, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Um, however, that is definitely a message from her father. listening. I hope you're getting the message. We have a caller from Indiana, and I believe that this is not that I believe. I know that this is also a message from your dad validating the messages that I just gave you. So thank you very much. And thank you. How do you say, how do you say your first name? Is it Joanna? Joellen. Oh, Joellen. Wonderful. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Joellen. And what is the word today? And make call in. Um, well, uh, you're cutting in and out a little bit, but uh, mine is a medical intuitive. I, I noticed I had some um, um, issues with my left hip, and it, it's not too much. Okay, I have. Sorry, I have to interrupt you for a second. The um, you're hearing you're hearing a bit of like a kind of breaking up. I'm actually hearing strong winds. Are you outside somewhere? Uh, I just walked outside, but we we don't have strong winds. I know, but even if you're outside, I'm still going to pick up whatever whatever air or whatever is outside winds or maybe mild winds. Okay, yeah, it's mild. Yeah. Okay. But it's wonderful. sounding better. Thank you very much. Oh, yes, it does. It does sound better. Thank you very much. And would you please spell your first name? J O E L L E N. One word. Okay. One. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. So I, I just I'd like to get a visual of the name so I so I understand what your name is. All right. Wonderful. And what is your question, please, Joellen? What is the medical intuitive question? My left hip. I'm just wondering what I could do to. Um, it's it's a new issue that just kind of popped up about I don't know a month ago, and I just thought, well, I wonder what's going on here. Hmm. Um, did you, don't, uh, just say yes or no, but did you tell me which side of your, like, which hip it is, the right or the left? Yes. You did tell me, okay, because I already can't remember, and I'm trying to, this is, it, as quickly as messages come in, they leave my head that quick. Um, I'm just trying to see where the feeling is that I'm getting, whether it's the right or the left, um, let me just see if I can tune in because yes, I am a medical intuitive as well. And I just want to see what here it shows me. I'm just trying to tune in. So just give me a moment. Um, I'm, I'm holding my right hip and what they're showing me is either um, inflammation or that you bruised yourself. I don't know if you fell a long time ago and you're still kind of internally bruised from that or maybe there's some scar tissue from that that's been bothering you. But they're showing me like bruising or inflammation. Do you have any issues with your lower back? Uh, yes. Okay. So from the lower back, that could be inflammation that you may be getting. And possibly this is what's happening is what may be happening, and again, I'm not a doctor, so I can't diagnose you with anything, but I can only give you my recommendations and advice. If there is inflammation, um, what could possibly be happening is 
you could have a nerve that may be pinched right now and it's starting to go that pain is starting to go down into your hip and starting to feel kind of like a, a chronic kind of a pain when the pain is there quite often so i'm feeling that it could most likely be bruised or inflamed that's something have you gone to the doctor for this at all yes and um the uh, chiropractor also and what did they say to you? What have they said to you? Uh, well, I mean, I had it adjusted last night. Okay. Have they said anything about any inflammation? No. Okay. Again, because I'm not a doctor, I can't really give you diagnosis. But if it's something that keeps bothering you, what I would do is I would get maybe medical attention, is, uh, see a family doctor or a naturopathic doctor or um, uh, someone that would be able to help you, someone, you know, for bo uh, bones or joint, like a, a bones or joint specialist to see if they can do any assessments and find out what is going on. But like I say, I, I honestly feel it's inflammation or it's bruised where you've hurt yourself and it's still like the scar tissue is still kind of bruised and still kind of painful. Um, you didn't have any okay. surgeries recently. Did you have any surgeries oh, no. recently? No, okay. No. I didn't think so, but I just, I just wanted to ask just in case. Um, yeah, that's that's the only the only thing that I see is just what, I, what I've given you, what I've told you right now. Okay, well, that's all right then. I mean, it's, all right. Uh, that's, yeah, it's, it's decent news, so. Sounds like I just it, need to be patient. <laughs> what did you say it is? It sounds like I just need to be patient and let it take its time to heal. Yeah, take some time, heal. In the meantime, um, if you can see maybe a naturopathic doctor, see if they can give you some something to kind of ease the pain, but, you know, natural, something natural, if, if that's what Turmeric will help like. that. I'm sorry? Turmeric. Turmeric, turmeric. Yes, yeah. turmeric. Yes, it will absolutely. But try to take it as well. Alrighty. Okay. Well, thank you okay, so much. Wonderful. Oh, you're welcome, Joellen. Good luck with that. I hope that you do feel a bit better soon. I will. All and right. And it was great Perfect. speaking well, with you. Thank you. It was great speaking with you as well. Now, do you ever watch my Monday night shows? No, but I'll look for it. How's that? I just on discovered Facebook. you today. Um, yeah. Yes, if you go to Facebook, um, you can look up the Butterfly Medium, and then you'll see my name, Ivana Figueredo, posted everywhere. Just click on it, add me. And on Monday nights, I do Facebook Live shows from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern time, and I offer live, uh, free live readings, and everybody's watching and listening. So it's actually quite a show. We have thousands of uh, views each and every week, so I do encourage you to uh to to watch one of the shows you never know maybe maybe you'll get chosen and i won't even know that i had you on my radio show. <laughs> oh, that does awesome. happen sometimes <laughs> all right thank you oh you're welcome have a great day wonderful thank you so very much joe ellen our next caller is caller 347 hello what is your name and where are you calling from please Hello, my name is Tanika, and I'm calling from New York. Wonderful. Hello, New York. Hello, Tanika. Hello. What may we help you with, myself and Spirit? I, I have a loving relationship question. I was uh, wondering about someone I was dating. Um, do you need his name? Um, No, not necessarily. I don't need his name because sometimes what happens is Spirit will show me the name anyway, or maybe an initial, or what his name may sound like. If they don't show it to me, then yes, I will ask you later on. Um, but okay. what you, give me a very specific question that you might have. Okay, I was wondering if he is dating other people, if he's seeing someone right now. Um, I'm just wondering that because we were dating and then he kind of disappeared and now he's sort of texted me again and um, I'm not really sure what his status is. And how he feels mm -hmm. about me, and and how he honey, feels honey, about me. I just said, honey, 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 you're asking me a very difficult question 
on blog talk radio. Um, these are these are questions that I do find very private, and sometimes they're hard for me to answer. And not only because it's not that I don't want to answer them, but sometimes spirit will not be very clear either because it may be something that's a little too private. All I'm going to say is this, okay? And I'm not I'm not saying that yes, he's cheating, no, he's not cheating, because I can't really give you that answer right now, not on Blog Talk Radio. Um, to uh, to be quite honest, that's more of getting into a reading, finding out, you know, what is it that's really going on, and this is what Spirit would show me. But what I'm going to tell you right now, um, and just for this little uh, reading that I'm going to give you right now is. Just be aware of your surround, like not surroundings, but be aware of what it is that you're doing with him or things that you might commit to or um, doing like different dates or uh, let's say, for instance, he says, oh, you know, can we go, can you buy me something? Or do, do you know what I mean? It's just petty stuff. But there's this thing, just be very mindful of this relationship because it takes two to tango. So if, if he wants you to give, he also has to give you in return. Do you know what I mean? So it, it's one of those things where you have to love and respect each other. If, if you feel that he's not giving that to you right now, I'm going to tell you there's a reason. There's, there's an issue on his part. Maybe he's, maybe he's not in love the way you are. Maybe he doesn't feel that this is the right thing. And usually what happens is, excuse me, when people tend to pull away, I, as much as you may not want to hear this, like I say to everybody, I don't sugarcoat readings, I don't sugarcoat messages, I tell it like it is. If you're feeling that there's that struggle, it's like he pulls away, comes back, he pulls away, comes back, I'm going to tell you that maybe there's a lack of interest on his part, or he's not giving his all in this relationship. But Spirit is showing me um, either back away from the relationship a little bit, not back, not back out of the relationship, but maybe just back up a little bit and just look at the picture. And where, okay. where do you see him and where do you see you, you know, two months down the road? Does he respect you enough? Do you think that you'll be in that relationship long enough? I personally, what I'm getting is there's going to be a better man for you that comes into your life. This is not the person for you. You see when that person's going to come? Pardon? You see when that other person is going to come? No, I don't. No. Um, hmm. I don't know. It's just, I, I just find, I'm not happy about this kind of, I'm not happy about the relationship. This is what spirit is making me feel. I'm not, I'm not super pumped about this relationship. So I don't feel it's going to last more than, I don't know, two or three more months or two to three more weeks. I don't know, but they keep showing me two to three, two to three. Wow. Well, I haven't answered back a text message because I, um, a little not sure about his honesty and if he was very, um, I don't like to feel like he's not serious and I kind of felt like that for him to back away and then come and text again. Exactly. And I just say that he's just been busy. I don't like feeling like that. Like to me, that's not that much of an explanation. And, you know, it's either like you're all in or all out with me, but I don't want to put something on that because it's not like we're engaged. So I felt kind of funny. I don't really know what to say because we're only dating. Right. So, well, I like, I like using, I like using this, um, this saying shit or get off the pot, pardon my expression. But it's, right. it's one of my favorite things, and it's true. Shit or get off the pot. Like, are you in or are you out? It's just like you're saying. And I just, I don't feel he's all in with you, unfortunately. I really don't feel that. And I don't feel that, you know, is there 100% honesty? No, I don't think that there is. But right. there's going to be someone else that's going to be able to give that to you. So it's really up to you right. what you decide. If you already feel that he's not on with you on board, then, and if you feel that he's, he, he's always out and about and, you know, well, he says he's busy or he do, doesn't have time. If someone really cared about you, if someone who was so truly madly in love with you, trust me, 
they would make the time. Right. They really would. You know, when, when uh, Jim and I first, when Jim and I first met my fiance, um, him and I were inseparable. Like we knew this was it. We absolutely loved each other and we still do. And we are still inseparable. Of course, there's days where, oh my goodness, I, you know, you just want to yell or scream or of course everybody gets into arguments and stuff. And sometimes you just walk away, cool off and then come back. But at the end, we love each other and we're always there for each other. And that's the way relationships should be. Exactly. Not, not one day I'm, I'm into you and the next day I'm not into you. It's either you really want to be with me or you don't make up your mind. That's what I would say. But I don't feel, I don't feel it's, I don't feel it's going to go on for much longer, unfortunately. I know. And it's a shame because see, the person pursued me for two years. Um, and when I finally answered him back, he just wanted to date. He just swore that, can we just date? Let's see where it goes. You know, he just wants to date. He might be leaving the state to go out of state to get a job, but he really wanted to date. So I finally agreed to date him. And then the dating actually was going in a way that I liked. And I regretted waiting so long to date him. And now, um, I don't know what he's doing. He's playing games. It just seems yeah. like I don't understand it. Exactly. You asked for this. And I know we're only dating, so you have an obligation. But why would you do this, you know, after you begged for so long? Mm-hmm. It's just stupid. So Yeah, exactly. And, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't feel very hopeful or... Like, I don't want to say too much. That's more, you know, like I said, it's more, it's getting into more of a deeper kind of a read, not a read that I want to do on here on Blog Talk Radio. However, of course, if you ever wish to, you know, book something privately, even if it's a 20-minute session, just to get more answers, uh, that's up to you. But um, the only thing that I can say to you is I, I, this is not the relationship for you. I don't feel it. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All righty. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Good luck with everything. And uh, you can keep us posted as well. And if you do wish to book something, you can visit me on my website, thebutterflymedium.com. If you go under uh, uh, services, I believe you can check out all the different rates and what have you, and you'll be able to book uh, something online or through me. Okay. Thank you. So All righty. Right. You're welcome. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you for calling. Yeah. All righty. Well, thank you so much for that call. Sometimes, yes, it's very difficult to answer calls like that. Uh, I try and do my best to give whatever messages I could um, because, of course, that is a very sensitive topic. And, of course, we never know who's listening. Um, so our next call, I believe we have another caller from New York. Another call from 347. Is this true, Tiffany? Hello, caller 347. Are you there? What is your name and where are you calling from, please? Hi, my name is Maribel, and yes, I'm calling from New York. Oh, wonderful. Thanks, Maribel. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I just had questions regarding, you know, romance, if there was, like, any good relationship that was in the foreseeable future. Mm. Did you just recently come out of a relationship or longer relationship, or was that, like, a couple of years ago that you came out of this relationship? like I've never been in a serious relationship at all. So Okay, so you've not been in one. So what I'm starting to feel is that there is a serious relationship then, okay? Because I felt serious relationship and I felt two years ago. So what I'm going to tell you is the opposite, that I do feel that there is a serious relationship that's coming up for you. Maybe I want to say in the next two months or two years, but it's more favorable in two years. In two months, no, I don't feel it, but I feel it more happening in the next two years. Do you have a birthday that's coming up? Like, are you going to be 27, or does the number 27 make any sense to you? Um, yeah, I mean, that would be a while from now, like maybe three years, because I'm only 24. Okay. Oh, my goodness. That is crazy. So this is So this is what they're showing you is maybe when it's going to happen when you're 27. So yeah, so in two or three years. So this is so this is what they're validating for you. Right now they're telling me it's it's not a favorable time for you to to be in a relationship or find a relationship. 
but they're asking you for growth, learning, healing, and then you will find a relationship. You will be in a relationship. Not that you'll find it, but the universe is going to bring it to you. There's a female on the other side, almost like a grandmother kind of spirit. This is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that the messages are coming from a grandmother source that might be in spirit. It could be your mom, but it's like a mother figure. So grandmother, just like I said earlier, I was feeling the father, father figure, grandfather. Um, so if you have, do you have a grandmother that's in spirit? Yes. Mm -hmm. Your mom's not in spirit though, is she? No, she's still alive. Thank God. <laughs> yes. Right. Yes. So it's the grandmother then that I'm feeling. So she's the one who's giving these messages to you. She says right now is not the right time for you. It's time for you to just hold off. It's just not the right time. It could be maybe you're starting a new career. Maybe you're just finishing school. Maybe you're just looking for your new career. Who knows what she's what what it is and why she's holding off for you. But your ma your grandma is going to be the one to help you with this relationship. She will bring you the person that you're meant to be with, the person that's going to show you and teach you so much and teach you about love as well. This is what she says. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So your grandma's very, very special. She says that she's always by your side. She's always walking your path with you and always teaching you the way. So she wants to say thank you for being you. And she's very proud of you as well. So is there, um, yeah, is there someone by the name of Jason? I, I'm seeing like a Jason or a J or sounds like that. Yeah, he's um, a trainer I know at my gym. Okay, and what is his name? J, just J. J, okay. So are you, well, I, maybe I shouldn't ask you this on Blog Talk Radio, but um, so I don't know why, but she shows me the name Jason or J. Maybe... Maybe you've looked at him once or twice and thought he was handsome. I don't know. But she knows your thoughts. She knows what you are hopeful for. She knows what you're hoping for. And she will bring you the person that you're meant to be with. Maybe he's helping you right now with your own training. Maybe he's going to help you with something. Maybe he's going to help you with healing. Who knows? Maybe he's going to be the guy that you end up dating. I don't know. I don't think that's what it is. But there could be a reason why she shows you this person's name. Yeah, like to be honest, I don't feel like we're like the one to meant to be. No, but through, through no, my I own don't think so. Either. Yeah, through my own intuition, I feel like it's just growth. So if I were to like yeah. just just for personal growth, yeah, finding yeah. out things so about myself. Good. That's right. Wonderful. So maybe during training classes, she's teaching. He's teaching you something or showing you something. So maybe it's that personal growth that she's referring to. Like I said, it could be either, and I didn't feel it was a relationship, but like I said, it could be learning, you know, about yourself and growing and, and experimenting with different, you know, different ways of training and different ways of maybe working out or what have you. So I believe that he will be there to help you, but your grandma's right by your side, taking you out each and every day as well. She says she watches over you all the time. And I feel she throws you dimes from the sky. So anytime that you find a dime from the sky, know that this is a message from your grandma. She also comes through. And I love, love when spirit comes through as butterflies. And I know that your grandmother is also a very special butterfly to you. And also, I don't know why, but to your mom, I almost feel like she's showing me a red cardinal for your mom. So I want you to let your mom know um, about, is this her mom that I'm connected to? Yes. Okay, so just let her know that I feel her mom comes to her in the form of a red cardinal. Okay. Okay, it's important for her to know. Maybe just say, hey, mom, guess what? I spoke to a psychic medium. These are the messages she said. You can also listen to the archived messages as well if you ever want to go back and listen to it. If you go under my um, website page, thebutterflymedium.com, go to the events page and go to the to the uh, the right side, and you'll see uh, a little video of me. Click on it, and it'll take you to my past and archived shows. And if you look up today's show, you can re-listen to this message as well, or perhaps uh, give your mom the message as well. Okay. And you said just I'll right. mention that she came as a red cardinal. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you so much.
You're wonder you're wonderful, your grandma says. She shows me the sign of peace with her two fingers so she wants to send you peace and blessings i feel something um before you go are you have you been having issues with your belly you've been having belly aches or nervousness or anxiety or something she shows me belly yeah so much recently really okay so she's asking you um lukewarm bath or lukewarm shower uh also if you have a bath Please put, uh, try and put some Epsom salts in there to help you relax. If you get some sort of lavender in there, like a lavender essential oil or a lavender Epsom salt bath to help you relax and relax your mind. And listen to some meditation music if you can when you're trying to relax your mind. But she says, calm down. You're going to be fine. You're overreacting, <laughs> she said. You're overreacting. It's the whole Aquarius thing, I guess you can say, because we're oh. very logical. <laughs> Trying to deal with emotions yes. is very difficult. But I'm learning. Yeah. I'm taking a risk at the time. Good, good. Well, listen to what Grandma's saying to you, that's for sure. And she's always by your side, so don't ever fear that she's not there. And any time, let's say you're driving or you're out and you would like to be protected because you're afraid of something, ask your grandma to send you white light protection. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. This has been so insightful, and I'm so grateful. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And one last thing. Uh, one of the things I always like to tell people is when we talk about, um, like, for instance, if you give the message to your mom that your your grandma comes through as a cardinal, make sure you let her know that your mom or your grandma is not the cardinal. She's not the bird, but the mm-hmm. spirit of your mom is coming through the cardinal. Do you understand? Yes. So when the butterfly comes to you, it's not the butterfly that's your grandma. It's the spirit of her is coming through a sign through a butterfly. Okay. I got it. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. But you can still you can still talk to them and say hi. They'll know. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Good luck with everything. And please check me out on Facebook as well at Ivana Figueredo or the Butterfly Medium. And please, uh, to everybody, don't forget to like and share my page. So thank you very much for calling in. I will. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Take care. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. Thank you so much to all the callers that we had today and also to all the listeners that we had. Another wonderful and amazing show of Let's Heal Together. Um, for those of you that do not know this, in my on my website at the Butterfly Medium Doc, if you go to my event, I believe it's the events page. If, it, if you don't find it there, you'll find it under services. Um, but look for my blog talk radio show. It's a little um, video. And if you click on it, you'll be able to get to my archived shows so if you've ever had a reading and you can't remember what I said to you during that reading and you and you want to listen, again, try and remember when it was and uh, go into the archived shows and you can re-listen to that show again. So once again, thank you to everybody who's been listening. I am so appreciative. I'm so blessed to have you guys follow me on this journey that I'm on. And I'm so blessed to be here to be able to share this beautiful and wonderful gift that I have uh, of giving you healing messages from the other side. So thank you once again. Thank you to Tiffany Whitesage, our beautiful producer of the Goldilocks production. And I am your host, Ivana Figueroa, world-renowned psychic medium, the butterfly medium. Thank you for joining me on my show of Let's Feel Together. And we will see you next Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Maury Moreland Morrison, here to tell you Geico has more than just great savings. Much more. Geico's been around for more than 75 years, back when they were using Morse code. Sorry, that's just my sense of humor. What's more, with Geico, you get 24-7 access to licensed agents on the app, online, or over the phone, so you can talk to them at night or in the morning. So forevermore, just know that no other auto insurer has more more than Geico. More power to you. Geico. Expect great savings and a whole lot more.